Hi there you guys, this is Robin Norgren. I am going to be doing a little rainy day project that's just something fun um, that you can do obviously when it's raining outside or to kind of loosen yourself up before you start working on a major project. So what you'll need is watercolor paint and a paintbrush and a bowl of water and then just a white piece of paper. Now when I'm working on any of the projects you see on my uh, channel, um, please know that I'm always using either a watercolor paper or a, um, a mixed media paper as opposed to copy paper. And um, this is especially important for when you're using watercolors because when you just take a simple piece of copy paper, what you'll find is that um, it just doesn't hold the, the color um, as like you would expect. So for example, if you're working with a green or an orange, it just isn't as vibrant as you want it to. And I have found that many times people will say things like, I don't like working with watercolor paint. And it's just a matter of they've either not used a nice quality watercolor tray or they haven't used the right kind of paper or brushes. So all those things are actually very important. They are tools for the trade. All right, so let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of my favorite colors and I'm just going to make circles with those colors. You can choose to put them anywhere on the page that you like. Even add a mixture of colors together. Make sure to pay attention to how much water you have in your brush because you can see I had not as much water in the brush that time. You see how vibrant the color comes out. So I'm just going to pick one more. And maybe one more down below. And now while I'm letting this dry, I'm going to go ahead and get um, a number two pencil and also have a fine tip black pen handy as well or you can use a ballpoint pen as well. Now I'm actually going to take these spots of paint and I'm going to make them into little fun animals. Again just a way to kind of wake up um, your creative um, imagination and so what I'll do first is I'm just going to gently draw circles around where I have painted. This just gives me a background to work with. Um, you can also take this time to use your black pen as well if because I'm going to after we're finished with this go around everything with black pen like I normally do. Okay so maybe just make a Kind of an illusion of a landscape here, which might create an opening for what you'd like to turn these circles into. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these circles into birds. Some with very long legs. And some with short legs. I'm going to add beaks. This looks like a little family here. Add little eyes. A little wing. And then with this, obviously, you can go in and add more detail if you like. This might be the beginning of a of a project that you're just going to continue to work with. Put a little 
design around the edges here. And you can go back in with a black pen and detail it. You can actually come back through and maybe add a little more color. take a thinner brush and go over the legs. Alright, so now I've shown you how to make this into birds, I'm going to show you a couple other ideas as well. Oops, I... All right. All right, so for the next phase, I'm going to break this down into three quadrants to work in. And again, this is also just an exercise in just warming up that imagination, warming up the, the hand to work. And you can easily take any of these four ideas and create something on a larger scale. And I'll just put kind of a line in between to give us a place to work around as a focal point. And I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to make different circles. You can also feel free to use your thumb, it's about the right size, for creating something. Small and large, feel free to mix colors if you'd like. This time we'll make them a little bit smaller. Alright, so we'll let those dry for a second. While they're drying, I think we're going to do a total of four, no, let's say three types of animals. So we're going to attempt to make these into mice. these into rabbits and these into pigs. All right, so this is where your imagination really starts to kick in. So let's say with the mice, for example, definitely want to put long tail. Feel free to work outside the line. And then we maybe want to put some ears. Ears kind of show which direction that they're going in. Uh, let's do some It almost looks like it's flying. <laughs> Let's do a little nose, an eye, and maybe some whiskers. Okay. 
And next, let's work on the rabbits. So, want maybe some ears. Make a little more rounded. And maybe more of a round nose on that one. A look of a tail poking out there. Go with another attempt. Maybe this one is sitting down and looking the other way. And then maybe this one has floppy ears. Big feet. And then again, the ears and the whiskers. Let's see for the pigs. There's the nose. So this first pig looks like he's laying down. <laughs> and then this one. We have his nose sticking out this way. And he's walking, has his hoofs. This is another way to warm up if maybe you're doing a farm theme and then you can just see which ones you like and then piggyback that into your project. It's just about letting go. All of them aren't gonna be perfect. You're not gonna like all of them, but there's gonna be some that you really like. This one almost looks like a tiger to me. <laughs> all right, so there you go. Now you can go around and you can then outline it again with pen. You can also do a little more painting on the page. So the floor, get a little more paint in there. Side if you'd like. And these would make fun ideas to put on the outside of cards. Or again, just fill a journal full of different splotches of circles and see what you can come up with. All right, so we've done the birds, we've done the mice, the rabbits, the pigs. All right, keep on working, and I hope to see you back at the channel very soon. Thanks for looking into Josie's Art School. Bye. Hi there, it's Robin. Welcome to Josie's Art School. Hi, thank you so much for those of you who come by and see what it is that we do over here. I'm so thankful for it. Would you consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't ever miss an art lesson with us? All right, let's get back to our lesson for the day. Bye.